Hello to all my college football fanatics out there. Welcome to another segment of a Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel sports show. Sit back and enjoy this video. My friends, my last segment, I was talking about the wild and crazy 2023 college football season it has been. Teams jumping around in the rankings and... I also talked about signature wins for certain college football teams. So now I have to talk about this school, a very rich in tradition football program, which I respect greatly. We are talking about none other than the Georgia Bulldogs, back-to-back -back national champions, 2021 2022 so far the dogs a perfect 8 and 0 and let's not forget right now they are riding a 25 game win streak so my friends when you stop and 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 look at this team you know th this is a very very good football team very well coached Kirby Smart and I'm looking at their schedule, the last four games of the season. Now, I know in the very beginning, we were talking about the dogs taking on UT Martin, piece of cake for them, taking on a Ball State team. The dogs rolled both of these schools I just mentioned, uh, taking on South Carolina, Auburn, in my opinion, not the cream of the crop in college football. But my friends, I will say this. Their last four games of the year speaks volumes to me. And I'm just going to say this. These will be signature victories for the dogs if they could get it done. This Saturday, we are talking about the Missouri Tigers traveling to Georgia to get it on with the dogs. We are talking about a Missouri Tigers football team that last season, at best, was average. And Missouri took the dogs all the way down in the final seconds of that game, but the dogs managed to pull that game out in the late stages of the fourth quarter, 26 to 22. Now, my friends, you've got to remember, last season, Missouri was up at half against these Georgia Dogs that won the national championship last year. So, I, you know, I give Missouri Tigers all the credit in the world. We are talking about a Missouri Tigers team that currently 7-1 and one on the season, ranked, and let's not forget this is a Missouri Tigers team that has a very high potent offense. Very good quarterback over there. Very good running attack. And this Missouri Tigers team averages 34 points a game. Moving on. The Dogs after Missouri will have to face Ole Miss in Sanford Stadium. We are talking about an Ole Miss Rebel team that is also 7-1 and one on the year. And let me tell you about Ole Miss. You talk about a high-potent offense. I mean a track meet when they play you. This Ole Miss team averages 39 points a game. Defensively, Ole Miss, not bad. They yield 21 points a game. But once again, when you face an Ole Miss team, you have to prepare yourself for a very, very physical game. Moving on. After Ole Miss, the Dogs will face the Tennessee Volunteers. Now, this game will be played in Tennessee, and we are talking about a Tennessee team currently 6-2 and two on the year. Now, this is a volunteer team that last season turned many heads and gained a lot of respect, without a doubt, especially from me. 
This is a Tennessee team last season that finished the year 11-2. and two. Tennessee averages 32 points a game on offense and on defense, not too shabby. They give up 20 points a game. And to finish it out, <clears throat> I call this rivalry weekend the last game of the regular season. The Georgia Dogs will have to travel to Georgia Tech. Always a big rivalry, and I will say a hated rivalry. And we have a Georgia Tech team coming in at four wins, four losses. But my friends, do not mislead you on that Georgia Tech 4-4 four and four record. This is a very good football team. They average 32 points a game. The big strike against Georgia Tech is their defense. They give up 32 points a game. So don't get me wrong. I, I, I see the dogs beating Georgia Tech without a doubt. But again, stranger things have happened during rivalry weekend, the last game of the regular season. My friends, when you add up, the Dogs' next four opponents, Missouri, Ole Miss, Tennessee, and Georgia Tech. You combine their wins and losses for these four teams I just mentioned. It comes out to a 24-8 and record that the Dogs will have to face. Missouri 7-1, Ole Miss 7-1, Tennessee 6-2, and, and Georgia Tech 4-4. Four four. So my friends... The strength of the schedule, it only gets harder as the dog season progresses. So, for me, a lot of the dog fans in the beginning of the 2023 college football season was, was commenting to my channel about what a cakewalk of a schedule that the Georgia Bulldogs had. And yes, to a point, I agree with that, but that was early on in the season, okay? It's only getting harder for the dogs, as you can see, okay? You know, going into Tennessee, a very hard place to play. Old Miss, always consistent, very physical defense, without a doubt, a high-potent offense, again, averaging 39 a game, and the Missouri Tigers, you know, 7-1 and one on the year and ranked, and they averaged 34 points a game. So, my friends, you talk about signature wins coming up here. You know, if the dogs can run the table, take care of business, without a doubt, I could see the dogs slipping back in to number one. That's just my opinion. It all depends what goes on with the Buckeyes and the rivalry weekend game between Ohio State and the team up north and also what goes on between Michigan versus Penn State. My friends, this is a wild and crazy and exciting college football season for sure. It's only going to continue to get wild and crazier. And it's only going to continue to even more get excited. So, my friends, if you are new to my channel, please, by all means, smash that subscribe button. Always free to do so. If you like this video, please smash the like button. And Buckeye Vinny here welcomes everybody for the first time to my channel. Please comment down below. Buckeye Vinny here really appreciates that. And to all my Georgia Dog fans, you have welcomed me with open arms, even knowing that my channel's name is Buckeye Vinny. I thank you all, all my dog fans out there. Once again, tune into this video and please comment down below. I really want to know your take on these next four games for the Georgia Dogs. Missouri, Ole Miss, Tennessee, and Georgia Tech. One more time, you add up those four opponents, wins and losses total comes out to 24 and 8. My friends, without a doubt, these are no slouch teams like what Georgia faced in the first four or five games of the year. Like always, peace out. God bless. 
This is all Buckeye Vinny has for today. Everybody have a blessed and safe weekend. Buckeye Vinny's out of here.